Understanding the history of our planet might pose a challenge for many. By history, we're not referring to 10,000 years, 20,000 years, or even 5,000 years. We're talking about the very birth of Earth, a staggering 4 billion and 600 million years ago when our planet resembled a fledgling star. It existed as a gaseous and solid infant, and after 60 million years, it began to take shape. Though not in the form we recognize today, but rather a realm of inferno. The entire planetary surface consisted of molten substances and fire, with temperatures soaring to 4,700 degrees Celsius. Oxygen was absent, and Earth's atmosphere was predominantly composed of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and sulfur. The majority of the planet was Ve led by an ocean, albeit a seething sea of molten material. Conditions were far from favorable. A few million years later, another planet collided with Earth. This celestial body was dubbed Theia. The resultant impact shaped our moon. Back then, Earth's days and nights spanned a mere six hours, from approximately 4 billion 100 million years ago to 3 billion 800 million years ago, a span of 300 million years, Earth was subject to an onslaught of various meteorites. These meteorites carried water, and their watery cargo contributed to the cooling of Earth's climate. Over the subsequent 300 million years, these meteorites transported about half of the water that graces our planet today. Water, being resilient, persists as steam, ice, or liquid. About 3 billion 800 million years ago, when the meteoric onslaught ceased, Earth had largely cooled. Though not to the extent that it could support life, a frigid Earth would have rendered life implausible, given the absence of an atmosphere and oxygen. The oldest known fossilized remains of living organisms on Earth date back 3 billion 500 million years. These organisms inhabited aquatic environments, and the manner of their survival continues to baffle researchers. Around 3 billion 200 million years ago, Earth was almost entirely engulfed by water, a state that persisted until 2 billion 800 million years ago. During this era, Earth's average temperature ranged between 55 and 88 degrees Celsius. This means that the planet's climate was still hot, but nevertheless, microscopic organisms had emerged and lived in the hot water. The sole landmasses protruding from the water were formed by volcanic activity. Roughly 2 billion 500 million years ago, the first continent emerged, dubbed Kenorland. Notable developments unfold as we approach 1 billion 500 million years ago. Earth's day-night cycle extended to 16 hours. Despite substantial improvements, aquatic microscopic organisms remained the only inhabitants. The land masses of Kenorland drifted through the waters, and until 650 million years ago, these land masses continued their undulating movement beneath the waves. Then, suddenly, Earth froze. The freeze was so profound that even the equator's temperature mirrored today's South Pole conditions. However, the Earth's core remained warm beneath the icy surface. Since ice cannot quell volcanic activity, eruptions persisted spewing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Gradual ice melt ensued due to this carbon dioxide influx and subterranean heat, ultimately leading to the gradual generation of oxygen. Concurrently, the atmosphere began taking shape. This process extended until roughly 540 million years ago. At this juncture, not only had the ice receded, but Earth's temperature had escalated to 30 degrees Celsius. The combination of warm air and oxygen facilitated the emergence of multicellular organisms on Earth. From this point onward, the planet's inhabitants were not confined to single cells. During this period, Earth's rotation further aided life, extending each day-night cycle to 22 hours. 450 million years in the past, a flourishing of plant life marked a pivotal moment. Soon after, the world witnessed the graceful emergence of insects. 300 million years ago, apart from the deep ocean regions, the rest of the world was covered in marshes, signifying a blend of water and land. The plants had found suitable growth environments, causing them to reach lengths of up to 30 meters. 
This growth in plants led to a corresponding increase in the size of insects. Both insects and plants underwent substantial growth due to the availability of ample water and oxygen on land. However, 252 million years ago, a massive extinction event began, resulting in the extinction of 96% of Earth's creatures. This extinction was triggered by the intense activity of erupting volcanoes. The ash from these volcanoes blanketed the entire planet, blocking out the sun. This situation persisted for 22 million years until 230 million years ago when dinosaurs emerged. During this time, Earth was united as the supercontinent Pangaea, which gradually started to fragment. 175 million years ago, Pangaea completed its separation, eventually forming the contemporary landmasses. Throughout this period, both pine trees and bees flourished on land, while dinosaurs reached the zenith of their dominance. Unexpectedly, 66 million years ago, the dinosaurs faced extinction. Soon, a comprehensive video detailing the dinosaurs' extinction will be uploaded to the channel, available for viewing. Following the dinosaurs, new rulers emerged, mammals. As you are aware, the former sovereigns of our planet were the dinosaurs, remarkably distinct from mammals, exhibiting the fascinating trait of being oviparous. During this era, the length of day and night approached 24 hours, and the average global temperature stabilized around 24 degrees Celsius. While various religious narratives exist, scientists assert that around 8 to 4 million years ago, monkeys diverged into two distinct groups. The majority remained monkeys, but some displayed intellectual evolution, developing the capacity for complex thought. As trees became scarce, the ancestors of humans descended to the ground in search of sustenance, this transition led to longer legs, a straighter spine, and the disappearance of back curvature. Beginning around two million years ago, human cognitive development surged, prompting the creation of diverse stone tools. Roughly one million and four hundred thousand years ago, Homo erectus, characterized by an upright spine, inhabited Eurasia. Around 800,000 years ago, they mastered the control and utilization of fire. Ultimately, 300,000 years ago, Homo sapiens, modern humans, emerged, exhibiting advanced cognitive abilities and gradually asserting dominance across the globe. Harnessing their tool-making prowess, they outcompeted other animals, ascending to the position of Earth's rulers. By 130,000 years ago, their global population reached 300,000 individuals. Over time, these individuals continued to advance, extending their dominion over both Earth and, more recently, space. This progression persists to the present day, with Earth's population having reached 7 billion and 800 million people. Regrettably, this dominance has led not only to the devastation of animals and plants, but also to a lack of compassion among humans themselves. This is evident in the brutal conflicts they engender, resulting in the most gruesome forms of mutual destruction.